Jamie. What? What are you showing me now? We're, we're going something different. We're going with one that me and Richard filmed many, many moons ago when we were spotted Finn. And it is probably the most fun method, other than mugging, because that's the best. <laughs> but this is the most fun method in the world, and that is fishing pay shallow for F1s. It's which, like... That it's... must hurt your brain. Oh, man. In... <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> It's proper, honestly, folks. This is doing my head in. Right, look, I've got to have a go at it. It looks amazing. So, it's something that one of my mates is very, very good at, like called Lee Thornton. Hi, I'm Lee Thornton. Yes. Very, very good at. I don't know where it Maybe Lakeview, it came about, you used to do it a lot. I know you've talked about it for fishing years ago, and I know, like, definitely Lee. Yeah. Definitely. It, it's something, it's very rare you can employ it. But when it's lots of F1s and you can be aggressive, because it's just so different to standard F1 fishing, because your gear is brutal. It's Do you know what I mean? There's no, there's no finesse in me floats. I've got a big size flipping. What have I got on there? Size 12 hook on. And I've got a 18.5 all the way through. Standard F1 shallow fishing kit, For really, F1s. isn't it? For F1s, isn't it? But it just means you can be aggressive and pull and good. But you're feeding in a way that no one else is and getting the fish eating a bait that they very rarely get fed. So because I'm feeding sloth, that we'll go into it all in a minute. It's swirling it already. So I want to feed it and then plop it right where it went. Um, what we're going to say. So, yeah, you've, do you know what I mean? You're feeding sloth and they're getting caught on the sloth. Do you know what I mean? You've got paste on the hook. It, it, it doesn't happen, does it? Look how quick it is. Whereas if you find you feed sloth with other baits, yeah. they can often be very tricky to catch because they're preoccupied with the the ground bait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of that sort of thing, innit? Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, we're going to do this a bit back to front. So I'm going to catch a load of fish, show you what they're doing, and then we're going to cut away to the, I'm, I'm not going to say the word technical because it's not, but to the juicy bit. What a method though, Jay. It's just so ridiculous. Good, isn't it? It's that, innit? Obviously yes. there's nothing there. They're coming into that sound, obviously the Sent in the ground bait and what have you, but there's nothing, nothing you're feeding there, nothing, are you? There's just they just you're seeing whiz through it, they just like, it? yeah, but it's getting in routine, you know what I mean? So, I'll plot me paste in. So, we'll talk about cups and all that in a minute because there's lots of different ways of doing it. But I can see where my slop went it's completely straight on top to, of uh, it. I, I thought, you know, I, well, certainly I have ever fished paste, I've never fished it like that, I've always fished it on the bottom. It's when on the bottom, I have fished paste, but I don't fish paste at all. So, I might have missed my window on that one. You've got to be so quick. I mean, your you, slop's got to go in straight over the top of it and you have to get a bite then. Or generally, you don't... Yeah, oh, I nearly had one then. Nearly had one, some swirling. You get them back in your pegs so quick. Watch that, slop in. How quickly do they swirl on that? One there, more. straight on Were it. Were they on it? Yeah, yeah. straight away. <laughs> so they're desperate to eat it because they know it's mostly safe, isn't it? Yeah. It's not like particles that Whoa. they tend to hold deeper. Yeah. So anyway, let me go, oh, a bit technical -ish. So fishing with it, I say the biggest thing is routine. Like massive is getting into a nice steady routine, feeding your bait, shipping out, plopping your bait over the top. Cause you only get that one little window. Yeah, once you miss it, once you miss your window of that, <laughs> of that sloppy in there, then you're very unlikely to get a bite. You can feed again, you can chuck over the top, but it's never as good. Oh mate. Yeah. I suppose it's something that they're not going to necessarily see, is it, as well? That's why it'll work. You know, it's something new for them. Yeah, ground no. bait, just in the middle of the water. There's a lump of ground bait. Well, they just think it's a lump of paste that I fed, don't they? But it's the noise. That's just a well. clump of the slop that I fed, isn't it? Yeah. Right, really, really quickly, hooking of the paste. So it's important. We don't want great big cannonballs of paste on the hook. I just want a nice small amount. So what I tend to do is compress a little piece like that in my fingers. Yeah, judge it to the size I want. So in that case, I'm going to chop a lump off. Yeah, and there I've got a bout. It's like a little eight mil pellet, isn't it? Like a six mil pellet. And what I want to do is put my hook into it so the hook point is pointing out and then compress around the top of the hook so my hook point is actually still there. I don't know if Rich can see that, but my hook is just sticking out there, but it's still encased around this bit. There's a lot of compression around the, the spade of the hook that keeps it in place. It allows me to get it to where I want it to get without it falling off. So the perfect size. It's worth dicking around with sizes and as well the shape of it as well. That can also help in the clean hooking of bites. So, but make sure if you can get your hook just sticking out, for me, that is about perfect. And it just goes in. I'm gonna be a bit quicker this time to get right into the chaos. 
I thought you'd be putting it in with the pot and everything. We, we can go down that room no, and talk about feed, that in a minute. Like, with the actual pace that you're looking you know. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if Whenever. Lee were to do it, Lee would, definitely. Would he? Yeah, definitely with a pot. So I like a bit of brutality though. I like being able to swing it and whack it because I hate the faffing to put it in pots. But it is right. But I think you want that for just putting them a bit more accurate, really getting them carnage when you want it later. But it's that extra noise as well, isn't it? That, that's the bit yeah, I like of it, the plop. It's just the in and out of missing bites is the only faffing. Yeah. I'll plop him in, old back shot nice and tight. And the bites, they're just, well, they're a joke. I don't know if Fritz has zoomed in on that now. But, and often you see it like, it's like ding, 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 and then <laughs> flies under. Do you mad how you get these little spells though? Oh, yeah, that's what I mean, two, two and two, and then... It's faffing, isn't it? That's the only issue with it. But I swear, if I put a pellet on, I've done this loads, if I put a pellet or maggot on, I do not get a bite. It's mad, because yeah? you've seen it all before, you think? Just because they're not eating them, they're, they're, they're drinking. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're not eating bait, they're just <laughs> slurping the slop, aren't they? <laughs> slurping the slop, they are. So I nail one off this cast. You want Jay Lads one waiting for you. Is it just an F1 there. method, or Joe? You catch I've only ever caught. Oh come on! Catch I've only ever caught on. F1s on it. I don't think I've ever caught a carp on it. It's very much a, a busy. Do you know what I mean? It's not giving it a good look now because I'm missing so many bites. But once they start nailing it, so all you got to play with to stop missing the bites is the consistency of my hook bait. So what would you go? Go firmer or go softer? Really, really, really. <sighs> Bit of both. Good matter. Who you knows? See what's right and the size of my hook bait. Massive. In getting them to have so it's it. It's like almost like a pea paste, isn't it? That? Yeah, same sort of thing, isn't it? It's only little. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let me just nail another one first. Here we go. <laughs> oh, tell so you what they might have done. Why I might be missing them, they might come a little bit high. A bit shallower. Though. Yeah, so I'm gonna take another two it's inches straight, off. Isn't that. It? Look, there's another one swirling there now. Do you do find that with as opposed to maggots and casters where they stay a little bit deeper? You can control it depth of that suppose, can't you? Not so much control it, they just come right up, but they're still catchable. A little bit different on Look this one. Look at that, straight on it. A little bit deeper. A little bit shallower, shallow shallow yeah. Here we go. <laughs> that's what we want. So that's two different bites, wasn't it, when you change depth? Yeah. You know, straight yeah. on it. You just add it a little bit. Look how deep yeah. I am as well. And how quick is it as well? Because you're not messing about, are you? 018 and no. whatever your elastic as well. Obviously. Proper carnage, big hook, maybe even a bigger hook. I think I might put a 14 on instead of a 12. But bigger the better. But the little steps, the first thing I want to do is I want my pole done. Yeah, my pole's always put together before yeah. I go out. Make it nice and super speedy. So I'm just going a little bit smaller on my paste. Probably like a six mil pellet. That's got a smeg on it. <laughs> six mil pellet's about right. I mean, replicating that sort of size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to try, I create like a little bit of a pyramid. So my hook's sort of sticking out. And then when we paste it's on the hook as well, so I get it straight out bag, but then sometimes I'll put it through a sieve and make it really, really fine. All right. Because then, <laughs> then you strike through it a bit easier. You might, on that, they might be eating that a bit Looking quick. It. That was like... I've never had them turn it over like this before. Deep. See, I feel like they'd eat all that bait that time, but I'm sure one will have it. It's weird, you get all them little tiny taps and taps and taps, like it's fish moving or roach. And all of a sudden it just goes dung like a pipe pun going under. I mean, I know, I know you haven't had it yet, Jay, where you, uh, the paces fell off because you had a bite every go, but how long will it take to like, obviously depending on how you mix it. it. 30 seconds, it's done. So you've got shots on there, obviously the float's going to hold higher when it's come off, yeah? You can just, sort of, but you just tell, your float just moves stop through the wind. Indications. I suppose it's going to move I see how it's wind, bobbing it? now. Yeah. What's them, little bobby ones? Or that the F1s? Fish bumping into it. Yeah, lots so of little titty ropes. Just like a typical pace bite, isn't Pipe bung. Yeah, it's pipe one going under. Send me pace from off, off then. Now, yeah. 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 It's carnage, isn't that it? my first bite that's first That's the first time I've seen you go in with that in indication. Without it going. Go on, Jay, lad. It's mad how many fish you got in your peg, though. It just brings everything in, doesn't it? It's just having the bottle to do it. So I've only ever done it in little matches up at Steve's place up at Lingmere. It's the only place I've ever risked it in a match. Yeah, but it's one of the, how, how much potential like ground bait would you get through though? Not Obviously a lot. like with limits and that. Would you get through your two kilo? No, which is not even close. close. Not? Well, yeah, I've mixed up two kilo today, just because I was lazy, chucked it straight out bag, and I've got, I've got half a bucket full. Oh, you've loads Yeah, because there, there's two kilo ground bait, but then there's about 47 pints of water. Water, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, right. so yeah, so don't let that put you off then. You know nah, I mean? you flipping it, you've got paste. tons to do. I mean, one bag of paste, tons might, enough. I might do this on Saturday. You're doing it Saturday? I'm doing it Saturday. I'll be proud of you if you do. Just go for it. Lee must have tried it there at Party Joe. I think he's tried it in littler matches. I don't think he's ever risked it on a, on a, big, in. On a big day sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> See, it oh, must be them roots giving me them little taps, isn't it? If we, if we get about the no float rigs, this is me now, Jay. <laughs> Shouldn't have shown me this, mate. Pay specialist. This is it. Because you've got proper kit on. Oh, I, mean, I like that bit even more. <laughs> Swing everything to There's hand. no like <laughs> subtlety anymore. There's just pull them round and net them. It'd be like I'd be an island, mate. I'd be sat on that <laughs> platform, like swinging <laughs> them in. <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> Dragging them in. Right, I'm going to catch one more. That is ridiculous. And then we're going to do technical bit. I've got proper method MVJ, lad. Oh, yeah, you got it. I go in a bit. I, know you, I knew you'd love it because of the throwing I've of the I've been slot. like, honestly, folks, since I knew you've been doing this, I'm like, what are you doing, Pace? I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to like it. You said I'd enjoy it. I mean, that is amazing. Well, different, isn't it? I love it. So if you're having a coaching like day with Andy... Just like that you can feed by hand and yeah. noise factor in. Man, I can't really swirl on it. Straight on it. So it took a while, didn't it? It probably took me half an hour. Yeah. But now it's... Well, look <laughs> at them. all my fish, literally. Every single one gone. They just didn't want to eat your wiggly worms today, no. did they? Come on. That, How good is it? Dad. It's mad them runs, isn't get it? Go. You have a run of miss bites and then it's... Shut gone, up gone, and get a go. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> well, one, one more, one more just for... And then we are done. It's proper quick as well though, isn't it? Yeah. When it's right, if you can get them dead close, like on your top four or top five, but it's down that noise as well. That's that's the one, isn't it? Obviously, F1s, they love the noise. They love a bit of a, yeah. Love that, Jay. Right, one more. So, same routine. Get bait ready, throw slop, ship over it, clonk. That I'm is doing the... this. Definitely doing this Saturday. <laughs> Don't want to be anywhere near you if you are. <laughs> <laughs> Them couple of hair follicles that you have left will be well gone by the end of the day, isn't it? Ready? Definitely like that. Blop. Oh my days, Jay lad! And all I've done is change the size of my face a little bit. Off your box, yeah, but you, and the depth, the depth has been massive. I don't think you missed a fish since no. you shot the beaver. A couple of you? inches off, hasn't it? And you are the other than potential overshot. Him. Look what he's up to, Zalan. You're well proud he, of yourself. He's never coming off in, in ever in his life, is That's he? It's like couldn't get any more central uh, top of lipper. Doing Disney. Oh mate, but there's I'd, I'd agree that it's only on occasions. Overshot and could compete with it. Really? It's that. that totally. fine. It's fiddly and a pain in the bum, yes. But in terms of efficiency for catching F1s, nothing comes close to it. It's just a bit of a forgotten thing or a very risky thing to do, isn't it? I don't know the way, the way he's looking now. If it goes it's wrong, on, it's really wrong, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to hold that. You don't want to feed like too, too quick. You get them a bit scatty and they come a bit too high. So just gonna calm them down. Chuck me bait. What kind of state of that, man? See, I don't like it when they do that. I like it when they hang a little bit lower. Oh my god. Oh, see, that was one on it. I could whack that. That went so away, didn't it? Has it knocked me paste off? No, no, we're all right. We're all right. Here we go. It's oh. <laughs> proper, <laughs> isn't it? So, with that done, Andy's gonna jump on box. <laughs> Oh, this and is I'm going to go through just the little things about mixing your bait, throwing your slop, all that sort of thing, that make this one of the best methods in the world. All the time I slug face <laughs> off. I take it all back. I take it all back, Jay lad. <laughs> that is amazing, man. Right, onto the technical then. <laughs> We've caught a few. Andy's going to make himself a paste rig, and we are going to talk about the little bits that are very, very important. And first, what shall we do first? Let's do paste. Simple as, but. You've got to play with it. For me, straight out bag. You know, in, in years gone by, just the ground bait that I'm using is dead simple. Now, Sonia Bates make one that's a little bit more bindy, makes it easy for me. So in that case, gone for super green. Again, personal, what you want. You know what I mean? I like either green or red. I tend to like very vivid colours, just so it looks like there's a big, lovely, sexy cloud going on. So that's all I've mixed, which is that one. I've mixed it fairly dry, so I've got options to play with it. Yeah, I can have a little portion of my box over there that I add a bit of water to, have that a bit sloppier. I can mess, mess about because it does make a big difference having I mean, your paste different consistencies at different points. Just because you go through spells of whatever, they, they learn how to deal with that um, consistency of paste. 
and you miss a few bites, swap it about, keep them guessing. Same as any form of shallow fishing, you just keep them confused if you like, keep mixing things about. Makes a big difference, so that was the main thing for me paste. So what we didn't talk about was that whether you want to cup it in, swing it in, whatever else. I mean, whatever you're happiest doing. Yeah, cupping it in probably keeps things a bit more slow, controlled, nicer, maybe catch you more fish. I, mean, I just like doing it the way I do it. I mean, I like swinging it in. Andrew, the, they're eating all my casters. <laughs> Jack doesn't nail it on my bait. Put them in thingy, put them in my van. So, <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, paste, really simple. Just play about with consistency, get it right. So if you want as well, as I mentioned, sieving it's a big thing as well, making them particles as tiny, tiny as possible. So your hooks slip through it nice and easy. You imagine you've got a big hook on, if there's too many big particles, it doesn't come out quite as clean as it would if it's a lovely, smooth, tiny, tiny, tiny particle paste. But nice and simple. Slop, same again, nothing fancy about it. It's just over wetter ground bait in whatever form you want. But what I will say is I've noticed that I'd much rather have pellet-based ground baits. I've always been a fan of, I mean, crushed expander type ground baits, ones that they don't bind as well, that create a nicer slop. You know what I mean? They, they create a lovely slot with no particles in it. It's just, again, a nice smooth slot that a single bag, in that case, I've just used Zucrush Expander. That's been my main thing. I've used half a bag of that. And that creates the, the nice slop that doesn't clag up. But because it's expanders, I can add 3 billion tons of water to it. So I get a lot of bait for the amount of ground which I'm using. And my second element was just half a bag of green Sweet F1, mainly for the green. I mean, I just wanted it to match me paste. Once the green ground bait to create a lovely green slop. So my bait isn't the odd one out. Yeah, it's all about them thinking they're eating the same thing that's going in. Just as if you're fishing maggots or casters, you want the same thing on the hook. Otherwise you give them a chance to avoid your hook bait and you don't want that going on. So really, really simple. I want that as sloppy as, so I can pretty much just about form a ball. So a lovely little sneaky tip. You've got to have a tub of water next year. So you've got to, otherwise you look like you've snotted up all over. But before you form a ball, really quick dip, just get your hand nice and um, moist, Andrew. Create a lovely little ball like that, roll it in your hand and you end up with a nice ball of slop and you can feed that nice. I mean, it stays in a nice clump, it doesn't spread all over the pace. Don't try and to throw it too far either. I mean, keep it comfortable. The more pressure you get put on to throw in that slop, the more it spreads, the more it makes an utter mess. So you wanna keep it nice from anywhere from two to six meters is the happy length, unless you wanna cup it in. But then again, I think it's important to be able to throw it because you can throw with a lot more regularity then make things happen. You're ringing that dinner bell all the time, the hearing that, I mean, I can feed really, really regular. At occasions as well, I can feed over the top of my float. If I've not had a bite off that initial feed, drop me rig in, sometimes I can get away with throwing a little ball at it and get a secondary bite then, depending on what mood the fish in. And yeah, that's it. Bait wise, really, really, really simple. So don't mess about two bags of ground, or what have I got there? Yeah, a full bag of ground, but two kilos and your paste easy enough for a five hour session, six hour session even. So, Cause that water really, really does bulk it out. So that is the bait covered. So make sure you've got a cloth, make sure you've got a tub of water next year. And it really, really, I'm not gonna say simple, it's quite stressful, but a really simple bait options to catch loads and loads of fish. With that done, next one, our little chat about Z rig. Hmm. Done or straight onto it. I was trying to be all clever then. You're gonna leave this in and make me look a wally now. Cheers, Rich. Right, straight onto rig anyway. <laughs> and brutality is the name of the game for this one. There's no uh, messing about with the standard 010, 011 up lengths fishing for F1s. It, it's all, you, you can't fish heavy enough. You know what I mean? Appley fish 020 all the way through. I think I've got 018.5 to 018 up length. Really, really heavy because I'm, I'm whacking it. I'm giving it the big and we'll never get a bite. Um, mega, mega heavy or fairly heavy lazy. In that case, I've got our yellow slick, which is 14, 16, 14, 16. 12, 10, 12, 12, 14, 14, 16, yes. So I think it's two mil. I mean, I always go buy mils on my slick now, so we understand. Um, again, something really positive. I've not got to worry about any niceness. I want to give it the big end, pull them out my peg, land them almost without using my puller kit. So it will catch in very, very, very quickly. But down to the, the main, the important is the float. Yeah, ultimately you have to have a float that can support the weight of your paste. So dibbers for me, most of the time they're the way to go depending on what's going on but dibbers are the easiest float to find that you can massively undershot so in that case that was a 0.4 dibber um i've got three number eight shot right underneath it so it's do you know what i mean the whole even a bit of body sticking out if i put that rig in so i know it can support a piece of paste 
sensible, do you know what I mean? Six to eight mil sort of style piece of paste about this sort of size. It's going to be supported beautifully. And do you know I mean, I'm fishing, my, my float isn't getting um, overwhelmed by the weight of my bait and sinking. And lastly, so with this, I'm not going to mess about with any horrible little hook lengths. So I've got a six inch hook length, great big hook length and a big hook. Yeah, no mucking about. I think I've got a, I don't know if I'll put a 14 or a 12 on. I'd happily put a 12 on, but that's a big old MXC one I put on in that case. Great big, heavy lump of metal. So there's just, there's no finesse needed. Absolutely no finesse. Make it durable, make it big so you'd miss a few bites. So the simplest shallow rig pretty much in the world. So the one thing I would like to talk about as well, though, as opposed to rigs, is oh, yeah, I'm gonna say something naughty, and it's playing about with your depth. Because that seems to be a big, big um, influencing factor on how efficient you are at hooking bites. And it's a bit different to normal shallow fishing where you can go really shallow, catch a few, and then you stop getting bites and it tells you to go deeper. In this case, you, they seem to come really, really high. So you always seem to get bites up until six inches. I mean, they come right up, right, right into the sky um, to inset that pace as soon as it lands. I'm gonna keep that topped up for Andy. So what you tend to have to do is mess about with your depth in order to hit the bites again. So that we're playing about with the consistency of your pace and your depth. They're the two things that you seem to have to mess about with. To, so you get into the rhythms of hooking bites. I mean, it's really easy to get bites on this once they're in your peg. So playing about with the depth, just sort of in inch increments, just as you would if you're swapping about with shallow rigs, fishing other baits. But say it's a massive, massive thing to making sure you're a bit more efficient and hook a few more bites. So with that said, I think we're about covered, Rich. So nice and simple. We're going to get Andy have a, have a go, just so I can get him changed, get him off them overshotted rigs and turn him into the country's best paste angler. Right, Jay lad. Straight in. This is genuinely not had a go as well. Literally this is first ever. If you don't miss up. your first bite, then you are my god. But, <laughs> you know mate, I, mean? I can't even remember how to put bloody pace on. It's been that long since I've done it. Make a little up, just don't go too big. A little babby, a little try. I used to do like a little triangle and push me oak into it. Is that, that right? Bad boy, yeah. Like that? That'll do, Jay. A bit, I'm not like Oh that. no, my hook's falling out. And he's too big. Too, much, too big. Too much weight, too much danglage. Get rid of a bit. It's this bit here that doesn't used to do me any with paste. Six mil pellet. That's, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah, feed your bait. Right, Love feed the bait. bait. I feel I've gone too far with that. Oh, it tastes fell off. It's going to be smooth, like baggy. You're going to be dead smooth. Ah, <laughs> bloody bait just <laughs> fell off. Come on, get the bait in. Can I put some maggots on? No. Right, come on, little paste. I can't do a little bit to paste. Oh, like, no, six mil pellet. I try and do a little one. It's like massive. Smooth, Andrew. Put a worm head on here. Here's your worm head. Come on, smooth. No. Oh, this is taking me ages. This is doing me head in. Smooth. I can't get it really smooth. Oh, there we go. Right, smooth. No falls. That hook's coming out again. Your paste too big. Is it big again? Six mil pellet. How oh, big are your six mil pellets? Eight mil? I can't. You know I'm not on there. I can't do bloody right. Let's feed some more bait. This fish the F1s are like, ah, oh, come on, will you? Right. You're just little, feeding fish at the minute, not fishing. Little babby piece. Little babby piece. I can't do little babby pieces with these bloody mittens. Milk keeps falling out. Right, little babby piece. That's as small as you're getting. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, I like that. Right, smooth, Andrew. Paste. Uh. You haven't swirling for it though, like this, have you? Oh, they are. Yeah, I've been. Oh, no way, guys! What are you doing down there? All out for two and a half seconds of fishing. And it fell off. <laughs> How come you never lost one? <laughs> It's this bit here, I can't I can't pick a little bit of paste out. It's oh, just that was six minutes of prep for less than a second of water time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh. 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 It was a lot faster when you were doing it, Joe. I'll, I'll give you that. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be my new favourite method. No, maybe tape. not. <laughs> I like, I like in the idea of like drawing fish there, but I want to band a pellet or put some maggots on the summer. <laughs> it's this bit here. This is doing me head in this. We ain't stopping until we catch one, and that'll be a new favourite method in the world. 
Just, you, yeah. Wait for a proper bite, pipe bung bite. Just wait for it to go like proper. Yeah, proper wait for it to under. go. Don't strike at the little dinks. <laughs> Come on. Oh, the little roach is moving out of the way. Oh, look at that, it's mouse there. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yeah, yeah. boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Oh, come on, the fishies. That's a decent one, no, isn't it's it? It's proper, isn't it? They're not like little F1s. They're proper powder out two pounds. Oh, they're mostly two pounds, two ounce rich. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many would you have had in that time now, Jay? <laughs> Loving that, mate. That's a nice one. Hey, I hope he's having a wee wee. But it's they're good. When you get them lip. on, they're just, they're on. They ain't coming off, are they? They're literally on the top lip as well, aren't they? Yeah. Right, come on, let's have another one. Catch you another bear. Now have another one. Go on, if, if he's quick, you get 30 oh, right. seconds. Say that, you want to be big. Just put your top kit together first. Oh, top kit together first. Go yeah, yeah, yeah. Top kit together. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was meant to have retired from coaching. No, you started up again, mate. You gotta coach me now. Coaching me now, Jay Lod. Right, you're having one cast and then we're ending it. Because we've got it more is, work uh, to do. It's just like when you see like likes you doing it, you know what you're doing, it's like ridiculous, wasn't it? So I wouldn't even say I do it can definitely be it's not something we do enough. This is This is a bit that's doing my head in. Getting yeah, that on. Fiddly bit then. Come on, she is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Right, come on. We've got more work to do. So, hopefully, that was a bit enjoyable. Go on, you can end it for me. Um, yeah, try pace, folks. It's amazing. <laughs> Just stick a bandy pellet on off some maggots in it, but the slot definitely works. <laughs> <laughs>